Welcome to the Goddess Raven Network. And it's your girl, Goddess Raven. And I'm talking about the Kaniga Jenkins situation that happened in 2017. It looks like there has been um, an update on the situation. Looks like the mom has reached a settlement with the hotel. Now, if y'all remember, this was such a sad story of accidental um, passing of a young teenage girl who went to a party with friends. Now, Kaniga Jenkins was um, 19 years old, was found pat, you know, unalive in a freezer at the Crown Plaza Chicago O'Hare Hotel in 2017. A woman, her mom has reached a settlement in a lawsuit against a hotel where her teenage daughter was found dead in a freeze in 2017. Multiple outlets report. Two other parties were also involved in the settlement as well. Now, we don't know who the other two people are yet, but I'm, I'm guessing they might, you know, tell us as I continue on with this story or maybe not. Now, the law supertains to the 2017 death of Kanika Jenkins, whose body was found in a walk-in freezer at the Crown Plaza Chicago O'Hare Hotel in Rosemont, Illinois. In security footage shared by the Fox 32 Chicago, Jenkins is seen stumbling as she walks in the vicinity of a walk-in freezer in an otherwise emptied-out kitchen. While her friends and family initially raised concern about potential foul play, the Cook County Medical Examiner Office ruled the death an accident and said she died from hyperthermia, according to the reports. The examiners also said alcohol intoxication, along with medication used for treating epilepsy and migraines, were also a heavy catalyst in her death. Now, the 19-year-old Chicago teen was attending a party at the hotel in September 2017 when she went missing. Now, her body was found almost 24 hours later. The lawsuit alleged that the hotel was negligent in not keeping the freezer secure and for not, ha not searching for her after her family reported her missing. Honestly... I think somebody should have been watching them cameras. I think people should have been watching those cameras. I think security should have, there should have been some type of security walking her on the grounds or, or in like the halls, you know, making sure, you know, something. Cause you know, they know, you know, come on. They know that these kids are having parties there and different things. There should be some type of security that, you know, walks the hall, you know, like the, the, the floors and, as well, somebody watching these cameras on a continuous basis or something. Like, it could have so been avoided if there was somebody watching the cameras. <sighs> oh, my gosh. Or, matter of fact, there needs to be some type of alert on that freezer when it opens and closes, especially when, or alert that somebody's in the kitchen, especially when staff should not be in that kitchen. Like, there's a lot of little things that I just, like, look, could have been, like, in place that could have kept this girl, you know, from, you know, on a, you know passing away the way that she did. But the lawsuit was initially filed for $50 million in damages. Further details about the agreement have not been disclosed. The parties agreed on the settlement in August, but the details are not available on the court docket because Martin has requested the, rec the records be sealed owing to um, privacy and safety concerns. Now, that's Teresa's. Teresa Martin is the mother, Kanika Jenkins' mother, and she's the one that's requesting privacy and stuff. And, some, you know, because when you have that type of money and this, that, and other, you in, you in Chi Town. You know, child, I would want that, you know, I wouldn't want whatever amount that I'm, you know, got for my, my daughter's passing. You know, I wouldn't want that out there either. Because look, just recently, a, a young man lost his life over $7,000. He just cashed a check and showed it on Instagram. And not even, this, this, not even three, four hours later, he was dead. 
So I don't blame her mother for not wanting to disclose anything really about the case. I don't blame her. A judge denied the request and ordered Martin's lawyer to submit the request again, and a hearing has been scheduled for next week. According to CBS Chicago, the defendants in the case are also in agreement that the records remain sealed. So it looks like they're going back to court again. Oh, y'all, I'll keep y'all informed of what's going on. But yeah, that's the situation with the Kanika situation right now. Let's see right here. Go back. And let's see. I'm just, look, I'm just happy. Honestly, I'm happy that some type of, you know, closure has been reached on this situation with her. Seriously. A settlement reached tonight in the case of a Chicago teen who was found dead inside a hotel freezer. 19-year-old Kanika Jenkins was found dead in a walk-in freezer at the Crown Plaza O'Hare Hotel two days after she went to a party there in September of 2017. Medical examiner ruled she died of hypothermia and her death ruled an accident. Her mother sued the hotel's parent company and security, arguing they were negligent. The settlement was reached in August, but both sides are asking to keep the terms of the settlement sealed. Okay. Oh, man. May she rest in peace. And no matter how much money you get, it doesn't bring back this woman's child. And I hope that this settlement will make sure that the hotel has proper things in place to prevent this situation from happening again. It's your girl, Goddess Raven, and this is the Goddess Raven Network. Y'all comment below and hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe and give me your opinion on what you think about this settlement in this case. Bye.